Welcome back to the evening show with Evening All-Star Night, where All-Star Night talks more softly and also closer to the microphone. In this episode of the evening show, we are going to be exploring the Roy Vaz Mansion. Hope, um, that doesn't usually happen on our show. Um, but I would advise you... Oh, there goes the vase as well. That is just disrespectful. Don't go breaking people's vases. Um, that is not healthy. She looks like... Oh, good to know. I don't want to chop you down, man. <laughs> Shit. Ugh. Okay, I don't like... the she Passive-aggressive, passive-aggressive. You're so passive-aggressive. Stop. Can I murderify you? No? I guess I, guess I gotta get you again. No? Dude, I don't know. If there's gonna be a bunch of servants, like, passively, aggressively running around the house, I don't know how I'm gonna handle that, because that shit freaks me out, man. I can't deal with it. Bottom half of this, of course, somebody managed to break another key in this family, because of a freaking, you know... What runs in the family, runs in the family. Anyway, hi, I'm Odd. I'm... My name is Odd, actually. Um, I'm Ulster Knight, and welcome to my show, uh, where people get turned into zombies. And uh, also, I should probably cast Reveal Invisible, shouldn't I? Because those things become invisible. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just in case. Just in case. Might as well. Uh, okay, so, um... In the last episode, we started up this chapter. And in this episode, we're gonna... Continue up this chapter. That's not, that's not the proper collocation, is it? I don't know what we're supposed to do, really. Oh, jeez, there we go. Something is... Oh, another one? Where was that? Oh, here. Oh, okay, whoops. These things just sort of don't seem to go for me. They sort of do, do the indirect thing. Where, what are you doing, mister? Sir? Sir, were you trying to kill me? Because you're not doing a very good job. Oh, no, it was in another room. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Maybe my job is to try to save all these servants, but then again, I don't really know, do I? Maybe I'm just supposed to hunt these people. Like, was it this guy? No? Where was that? Oh, there it is. There he is, probably. No? Maybe? Um, dude, this is freaking me out. I, I do not handle passive aggressiveness very well like passive aggressive walking like that does not bode well for me I don't like it at all hate to say it but um yeah that's just how it is okay so I was talking about things in the last episode but then I stopped because passive aggr the passive aggressive people freak me out um yeah, I've been I've been thinking of things recently, like uh, existential things. Like, what is a passion? What is a life passion? Because I don't know. Well, I know what a life passion is, but strictly speaking, do I? Like, do I have one? I've been thinking, what do I want to do in the future? You know, that sort of thing. And I can't really I I, I can't really answer that question. Is the problem? Oh, there he is. Hey, oh, get you. Yeah, I have a shield. What are you gonna do about it? That's right. That's right. Oh. What's that? Where is that? This is the basement. What, uh... Okay. That's a problem. That should not happen, probably. Is it going to attack someone again? I guess it is. Um, but I can't get into the basement because I don't have the second part of the key. Which is silly because keys aren't supposed to break, are they? But here they do, in this game. It doesn't happen. Never. Never in my life have I ever broken a key. I don't know anybody who's ever broken a key. It's like sturdy keys. Dude, stop. Oh, this is where the guy was. The one that I, <laughs> the one that I couldn't find. I found him. Hi, man. I'm gonna chop your head off. Sorry. Sorry. Man, that is just depressing. Can I kill the jump scare? Does the jump scare become possessed? No? Cool. 
cool. Okay, so yeah, existential things, like, what do I want to do then, like, okay, listen, what I'm currently studying is, like, I'm, I'm currently studying English literature and, like, phonetics and grammar and that kind of thing, because I don't, I don't know, what, what else was I supposed to do, like, I, I know English and I'm good at it, wait, what's that? I would rather not have to smash the windows again inside, but where did he leave the key? Freaking Edward and his gosh dang keys, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Am I funny? Okay, enough. This is serious, serious talk day. It's like, what do I want to do next year? Because I only applied for one year. I didn't apply for a bachelor. I didn't apply for a master's or anything like that. I just sort of like didn't know what to do last year. And I figured, hey, why not give English a toss? And I'm not sure if I super enjoy all the reading and things and the b b b b all the stuff, you know? I'm not sure if it's for me, as they say. So I'm considering switching to something else, but I don't know what, and like... Is it worth switching? What is it worth switching to? What should I switch to? It's like, where would I have to go to switch to something? That was the wrong place. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, it oops. This is also the wrong place. No, it's not actually. Okay. Get him. Get him. Get him. Wait, wait, let me try a new spell. Dude. Dude, I got a new spell. Let me try that shit. Yeah. Boom. Let's try, 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 try. Come on, come on. Do it. Did it do anything? Maybe. I scared him off. But he just keeps running back to that thing. And what am I supposed to do about that? I can't go down to the basement to destroy it. Because I don't have the other half of the basement key. How do I get the other half of the basement key? This is an issue. I also didn't see the shotgun shells here earlier, so I guess it's good that I came back somehow. But still, it's like, what? Where am I? Maybe in somewhere in the outer reaches of the library? I have no clue what I'm doing, honestly. Just like in real life, where I also don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of running around aimlessly at the moment, just hoping to figure it out. And I guess, I mean, I guess I have all the time in the world. I am only 19, after all, to figure this kind of stuff out. But it really bothers me. It's like, do I want to go... Do I want to be an exchange student for a year? Do I want to travel to, like, travel to somewhere just for, like, a, a semester? Do I want to go somewhere? What do I want to do there in that case? Can I even do that currently? Am I in a position to do that? You know? just so many questions like even like is it worth pursuing this or this or is that really what I want and it's like it's rough man it's like um, oh where's that that's like uh, over here no oh here it is what the f dude where are you going oh there he is stop Stop that, man. Seriously. What are you... You gotta stop this shit, bro. You gotta stop knocking me around. Just like life. Oh. Going back. Yep. Oh. The vampire... The vampire creature. Is that what it is? Really? Okay, so I was doing the right thing. Okay, so maybe this is a good sign for my future. <laughs> I'll take it as a sign from eternal darkness. Just dick around and like, I guess, k kill things. That's not really good, is it? Don't kill things, kids. Don't don't kill. It's a bad idea. Now, enchant item, reveal invisible. How do you fix things? I forget. Maybe I can just put them together. Like, oh yeah, mix. Mix is the yeah. That's right. We have the mix command. I forgot all about that. Okay, let me see. Where's the top half? Oh, bottom half. There we go. Perfect. Wait, 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 no, that's not perfect. It appears to be, yeah, I know. How am I supposed to fix that? Okay, so while looking up a walkthrough, I found this very apt description of Edward. Um, just uh, at the very beginning of the, the chapter 10 walkthrough. Dr. Edward Roivas is a classic wiener man of the 50s. Marty McFly's dad times two. So have him use the saber and remain invisible when casting magic attack. 
And there's the thing because I can't remain invisible because I didn't get the Manta Rock rune. It's like five chapters ago. Never gonna let there's n never gonna let it go, are they? You you mess up once and you can never go back. Is this also a metaphor of my life? Oh my god! Apparently, you get things if you save these people from becoming monsters. So apparently saving one of them can give you like the key to the shotgun cabinet, but I'm not sure if I managed to do that. Let me just have a look real quick. I got elephant gun ammunition from this guy, but that doesn't really help me, does it? Not if I can't use the elephant gun over there. Gosh dang it. Okay, got some more ammo. Still no key though. Oh, that's how you do that. I had 127.6% forgotten that if you just enchant an item, then it sort of just gets repaired. Okay, that's good to know. Then we can head down to the basement. Good. And we can kill the thing. I recast some more spells here, just in preparation to fight the, the beast. Oh, geez. Hello. Oh. Yeah, I see you. You're not as invisible as you thought, are you? I'm sneaky like that, that's right. Got a shield, bitch. Can't do nothing about it, cause I ain't ready, hey. We ain't both gonna ex gon' give it to ya. Ed 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 gon' give it to ya. Dad, let's leave it at that, cause I ain't ready. Wait. It's doing the thing again. Um, okay. How about I destroy the thing? Can I do that? Is that a thing that I can do? Let's see. Oh, yeah, detail. A simple obelisk made from an alien stone sits atop the wall. Okay. It doesn't seem to want. Oh, summon horror? Shit, I can do that? Dude! What? That's wild. I had no idea. I had no idea I could summon horrors. That's crazy. Just like real life. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the, the depressing whatever. Double shotgun all the way across the sky. Mode. This function allows the character to change the fire selector on guns. Mode. Oh, cool. Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy right here. So much stuff. So much stuff is happening. But what am I supposed to do about this mofo? Like, how do I destroy this one? Maybe if I use the magic pool spell or whatever. Just a guess, though. If not, maybe I'll try casting the, uh... Um... Uh... Summon horror spell? I don't know. I have no clue, honestly. Maybe I'll just keep beating it till it's dead. It's also possible. It's possible, but not necessarily the best strategy. Let's see here. Yeah. Sneaky vampire beast. I'm almost out of shield, actually. That's not good. Oh. Let's keep making that wind noise every time it appears. Is it dead? No, it's not. Dude, it keeps doing that stuff. What am I supposed to do about that? I don't have enough magic to summon anything else, do I? <sighs> Walk through. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but apparently you can sort of just do that. Okay, I gotta run off, cast my shield spell. This is getting dangerous. This is getting Miami heated. Okay, let's do a shield spell. You guys don't need to watch this. This game just continues to prove my point of cellars or basements never being a good thing, ever. Oh, there we go. I cracked the code, and by the code I mean the thing. Ha! Huh. Take this vampire guy. Oh no, Ed is getting tired, I think. Poor Ed. <laughs> what happened to Ed and Eddie, though? That's the real... surreal zinger. Alright, can you just die? You've cost me a lot of strife. Mofo, call me so much strife, you can might just well call me Cloud. That's right. 
Dude, look at this guy. He's this is a tired man if I've ever seen one. And let's finish it off. Actually. Can I do like medical record? No, okay, I cannot. Well, that's a bit of a shame. But uh we can head down even further into the basement. That's always a good thing. I'm gonna save first though, because you know, you know why I haven't saved in a while I should save. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that frog ass guy in the thumbnail. Gosh dang it, Edward Frog. You always get my goat. You always roll my aisles. You always know how to make a woman happy. And at that note, thanks a lot for watching this episode of Let's Play Eternal Darkness and it is Requiem in the next one stuff. Edward Frog. Edward Frog. Stuff featuring Edward Frog. So until then, see you next time. Goodbye.